Hello, hello, hello. I was waiting for you to show up. I'm glad people are actually showing up. I forgot about the time. I was like, what? It's two o'clock already. I was like one minute before two, just setting up this whole thing. Um, but here we are. It's Friday. And um, I think yesterday's session was so much fun. It was really great to see everybody's colorful art. Thank you for sharing. Don't forget to keep sharing your art with the hashtag SBS Drawing Party as we are just pl keeping playing along, playing um, together, making art, staying creative, staying sane that way. Good to see everybody is um, coming, trickling in here. Happy May Day from Minnesota. I think it's a Labor Day in a lot of countries right now. Um, still, I hope you are safe at home and uh, I hope you have some of your art supplies ready. Someone sent me a message asking me what the theme was for today after I posted my, um, um, my story that we were going to be live again. I actually don't know the theme, just like a few minutes before I start or maybe an hour before I start. I just really, you know, um, let, let it come <laughs> instead of thinking on beforehand, what should I be teaching? No, what, I, what do I feel like doing? So sometimes I think, oh, maybe I can do something about perspective and then I change my mind because I need color like yesterday. And I think that is the key to creativity and your creative habit. You always need to listen to what you need and what you feel like because your sketchbook is your creative playground. And if it feels like a chore or like work, it shouldn't. It should just be really fun. And of course there's things that you can practice to get better at it. But most of all, it has to be fun and you have to have a feeling of not really accomplishment, but satisfaction, I guess. And also the feeling of flow while you are putting pen to paper and coloring, uh, you know, with your favorite colors or using your favorite tools. It's really, really, really all about that. Give yourself permission to do that without thinking about what the end result should be. And as you are doing, you are practicing and you are getting better. Even if it feels like oh, I'm just playing and having fun. How could I learn? That's how we learn. That's exactly how we learn. Okay, so Bibi is saying that I am a therapist. Well, thank you. I don't really think so, but I'm just, you know, what I'm doing is just sharing my process, sharing my thought process. I have the same struggles that you have. And um, when we uh, share that, then we all know that we're together in this and you're not alone, you know, with any creative struggles, procrastination, why do you even do it, you know? It's, it's all um, the, uh, the inner critic. And so true, Celeste, art is therapy. So it's all about giving yourself permission to play be playful. We need play in our lives and a lot of it, especially now. Shall we? We shall. Okay, so today I want to, um, sometimes people ask me, Kosha, how do you draw perspective? I find it so tricky to draw perspective in buildings, whatever. Well, the trick is you don't. Because drawing perspective is not a thing. You are drawing a building or you're drawing a thing and it is in perspective, but you should not be thinking about that too much. So today I want to um, draw um, actually this mug with some art supplies in it and I'm going to put it right in front of me so I see it from above. And then I have a tricky perspective and I will be using a continuous line to try and capture it. It might work out like a, one big mess, but I am sure that while I am knitting my way through my drawing, 
I will be having fun. And I sure hope that you will have fun along with me. So grab any tool that you like. Um, I will be using a pen and if, if I have a little bit of time left, then I will add a splash of color because that sometimes makes the whole difference. So it's kind of the other way around from yesterday. Yesterday we put down color and then the line made all the difference. Now it might be the other way around, but let's see how far we get because I have been talking a lot <laughs> so far. Um, we don't have that much time. So let's do this thing. All right, there's my lamp and there's my sketchbook. Okay, let's see. If I can get everything in place here, I think so. Well, as I said, share what you make on um, social media using the hashtag SBS Drawing Party. I will be drawing this. I, I can't put it in view as well as drawing it. So I'm just putting it really close by. Um, so I am looking at the top of it. You can, I think you can see the corner of it. No, you can't. Okay, that's fine. I'll start drawing right away. I'll um, close the um, uh, comments so you can see what I'm doing, but I hope you are drawing your own thing. So um, there's this big brush sticking out and I think I'm going to start there. And as said, I will be doing a continuous line. You could even make this a bigger challenge by doing a blind contour drawing, but that, um, no, I, I really don't want to get, get into that because it will be so messy. It will be fun though. We might uh, do that some other time, maybe next week. Do a little bit of extra play. And, um, as you can see, I am not lifting my pen because I'm doing this continuous line drawing and I sort of ran into first doing the contour just because that feels right, feels like the right thing to do, but now I can actually also get, get, get back via this Lamy pen of sort of like so and while I'm doing this I'm also looking at the negative spaces so that I see um, the shapes between all these pens because that makes actually all the difference to capture actually to capture that um, perspective too because it's the negative shape that creates the whole um, distortion that you see with uh, with um, a perspective that is very crooked or strange or however you want to call it <clears throat> and it's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle, this type of drawing, um, because you have to go back and forth from one space to the other, and actually you don't need to fill in every single detail, because just like with a jigsaw puzzle, when there's a few pieces missing, you actually can still see the image that it um, that is showing and I don't know about you but I have been doing some jigsaw puzzles um, can be really relaxing but that is totally unrelated to this topic <laughs> oh there's actually ah I see here is the other pencil and then there it's the end of dip pen that goes halfway here I can't really even make out that shape so well because it's so distorted in um, 
in my view. And then here's the rim of that cup. And I can also see the ear of the cup. It's right between these two shapes. And I can also, also see that proportions are a little bit off, but does it matter? I don't think so. Oh boy, that little pff, bump in the paper really brings me into trouble. So, ah. okay, I'm going to lift up my um, pen because this made me all ugh, kooky. But actually, I have all the pens in here except for that Lamy. I think I'll um, I'll just fill this the rim of the cup here, and then go back to continuous line drawing and finish some of the missing shapes but I'm not going to fill in all the shapes because I kind of like things missing and not being finished like here and here I think that works actually really well um, but I do want to finish the shape of the mug which is here and then it comes back right um, yeah there's the it's pretty round because I see it from quite high above. It's kind of like this. I think so. And I lifted up my pen a few times, so I broke my own rules. Oh man, can I? Yes, I can, because they are my rules. <laughs> and that is not right. I'm going to correct that. That is much better. I captured it. I did it. Now all I want to do is add a teeny, teeny, tiny little bit of color. Do it right away. And of course, I have half of my stuff scattered around. I think um, my Lamy is bright pink, so I think I need it in there. Just a quick dab of color there. Look at that. I think it already makes a whole difference. And then this is a pink pencil. And I might want to give this a little bit of context. And then this has the same color-ish. And then this one also has the same color. Um, and what I want to do as well, there's another bright red in there, which I think can add a little bit of a pop to it. There we go. And there's a lot of dark inside of the cup. So I'll just mix a bit of grayish. Maybe a bit of grayish greenish because the mug is green. And I'm just going to quickly add just a little bit there. And I can also see if I missed any shapes. I can add those just by filling the negative space. And this is definitely not watercolor paper. <laughs> it's a bit tricky, but I kind of like what it does. It just soaks up the color. And I think actually this color, um, it, it quite works this way. Not that much color, just a teeny tiny bit to finish the whole thing off. I'll give the mug also a big shadow. And to give it a little bit of balance, I'm going to add some color here. Might be a bit brighter, a bit of yellow there. And I see another red, and that's always fun to look for sort of patterns or repeating colors. There's another pop of red here that brings in a bit of balance. And then what I also want to do is... Um, 
emphasize a little bit more on the darkness and also the, uh, the perspective by showing that this is darker than the tops of these tools. And now I should just leave it as is and leave it alone. Good. So this was May 1st and it was number 33 already. Let's add that. Oops. Okay. Done. Well, that was a quick one. Not bad at all. I hope you um, you tried it as well. I hope you drew along with me or maybe you will draw something now um, using this technique. It makes things a little bit, I don't want to say easier because some people still struggle to actually keep going with this continuous line, but um, it will distract you from those thoughts of perspective and proportion and all that um, it helps me for sure especially if i draw something complicated it really helps me to use that continuous line and look at the negative spaces and that way i capture the whole thing and of course it's wonky it's supposed to be wonky but um, once you add a little bit of color and a little bit of logic to it with some shading it actually doesn't look that bad. So thank you again for joining me today. I had fun. Um, I love experimenting like this and I hope you learned something or at least you got inspired to do something. Share what you make on um, social media using the hashtag SBS drawing party. From next week, I will be on Instagram Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and Danny will be uh, on YouTube. Uh, Thursday, Tuesdays and Thursdays. He will be there at noon Eastern Daylight Time. I will be here as you're used to at 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Good. Well, have a fantastic weekend. Make art. Relax. Give yourself permission to, instead of doing the dishes, draw them or anything like that. Instead of procrastinating, do that first and then do the other chores, chores. And by that, I mean drawing, make art, fill your pages, have fun, have a good weekend, and I will see you back on Monday. Bye.